All right, and I am back. We are just heading beyond the strip, and um, off of walking on the night. Let's just say, see, show you what's different. Show you what's different because there are some things that have changed. There are some things still the same, but um, I don't know. I've just got a pool. Oh, here we go. So sorry about the hair mess. Yeah. Okay, it's still there, of course, as usual. Still got your usual bars here and the usual meal places. Usually there. Yeah, most things are the same. Most shops are probably a little different. But I don't know. Yeah, as like anything else, most of everything, everything's all different. So. If you guys didn't know, they were used to a Mexican bar, like a restaurant here. Like, unfortunately, it's closed down. I think last year I didn't even mention that, but we're at a now. I think most of the places shut due to pandemic and because I say money loss and whatnot. Calypso, one we're going to come up to soon, uh, has changed a bit. It's, I don't know, it has changed a lot. Pricing's are different. Menu's different a little bit, and like the pricing is a bit short, isn't it? If I'll, I'll probably go in there for a drink and show you the prices, but as well, so next one miles right here, as you can see. It's closed. This, like I said, used to be the Mexican bar. Now it's closed. Clips is right there. Changed up inside. I'll show you inside. But then the kebab shop has changed as well. It's gone to a waffle shop or ice cream shop now. So you can sell all those ice creams and like whatnot. So I was really upset when I heard about it. I was like, what? No. Can't be. But yeah, they got rid of um, cheap, uh, cheap giraffes. So I'm, I'm a bit upset about that. But hey, there is plenty more places to go. Hey. And I already found one, I think it's at the back there. I'll probably go there to get a gyros from Hungary later. But like I said, just most things are the same. It's just I feel like the price needs to go up just, just a little bit. Just to kind of make up their money, make up their money. And then, you know, because there's not really been a lot of people here. Because all they've been is, I think, Italians, oh, yeah. um, Romanians. Germans, there's not, that, there's not been that many British this year, so we can say that much. Because like, actually, our our system is working like with Amber, so luckily, because if it wasn't Amber yesterday, we would have probably been going home. So you know, it's just like we're lucky we're still here, but I don't know, it, it's just. It's, it's, it is what it is, I guess, but yeah, so like I said, everything's still the same, almost, except so like I said, so things have changed, and some things have not. I'm walking most past the shop, but I want to go to the market and actually record over there, because I haven't been there yet, so it'll be the first time in the 11 months or so that I've been here, because I actually came in the September time, near the end of October, so I'm kind of actually, you know, yeah, getting two holidays in under a year, which is quite nice. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, just nothing's gonna change that much. I'm, I'm rambling on as much, but yeah, um, hopefully when I get to the market though, um, they haven't changed too much. But I'm just looking for some food, just some snacks, so we can find really. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully at the market. Let's go. We're now here. We should walk around the shop. So we can find. And yeah, um, I took a bit of detour. I uh, went into a few shops. I should record there. It's got some sweet. Let's have a look see. Yeah, the pricing's a bit different. But. I know the price is a bit different. Your cheeses, your butters, your meat, this stuff. 
on it, the meats and whatnot. Yeah, it was a bit different from um, some of the actual stuff. But yeah, this is not bad actually. I'm looking for some Doritos salted ones. I know you can get them in the UK and all that, but I want to see if you can get them here because I really want to try. I really want to have some right now. Add some taco flavored ones as well. Um, it was yesterday, but um, that's about it. So like, I don't know. I just want to see if I can find them here, and I want to see what I can find, see what I can buy. And um, yeah, because some more shops over there. So yeah, see what I can find on the product. I am now back with some goodies. I dropped some popcorn, cereal, and then like a drink. You know, I didn't get a drink. I got. I'll, I'll just show you what, what I got back. But yeah, so first market down. Not too much to offer for me. Because we've already got some stuff at the hotel anyway, so I um, should have did this sooner. But I'm going to go into the next supermarket now, so we can find Let's do this. And we're back at the shop. With the sauce section. The sauce. But, um, yeah, the first shop didn't really have what I wanted, so I'm going to see if we can find it around here. And, uh, yeah, just look around because that's what we're doing today. Chilling out, looking around, having fun. Let's go. Okay, just a heads up. This right here. It's 59p, or 59. Uh, how do you want to pronounce that sense? I don't know how they do it in sense. But yeah, um, that's actually quite nice because the one I went to in the main strip is like 80. Like 80p, 80 cents. It's around 68p, something like that. So, that's something to know. So it might be a little cheaper down here, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, so, second shop. Uh, I think it's a bus for now. So let's get it going. Next, next shop, hopefully, this does not let me down. Let's get going. Woo! Interesting! If you guys are a fan of like chocolate spreads, this is your section right here. I think this is a banana one, yeah, banana and chocolate. This one's strawberry and chocolate, it's quite nice. There's your milkshakes. These are your jams and honeys. It's quite nice. Your breads, Oreos, your cereals. Nice. Yeah, um, I don't think that these guys will have the Doritos. But it's, it's, it's just nice to look around, really. Packets of ramen, mini packets and your pot noodles. So we have tomato or tomatoey, mozzarella. We have the Bombay Bad Boy, sweet and sour, sticky pork or sticky ribs. Sorry, original curry. You got all your pot noodles, you got your canned stuff. This is just your average market, really, which I kind of like. Oh, you got my favorite mustard, English mustard, right there. That's great. I'd try that any day. I love it. English mustard gives a little kick of spice. Sanitary products, yeah, to clean up your house. Lucas. Add the Doritos. Hmm. Can't see anything I want. Oh, look at that chili flavour. Quite nice. And your drinks. Yeah, um, I think that's a bit of a uh, bust. But there are the barbecue uh, Doritos, which I think I've tried before. I don't know. I might get them soon. So these are the ones I do recommend right here. The taco ones, if you guys can get them. They're, tri they're kind of nice. They've got that like nice flavour. I don't know, it's just I, I like them. I like them. But yeah, um this shop I think is a um uh, it's not really for me right now because there's nothing really I want to buy right now. 
So what I'm going to do is we're going to head back to Calypso Main Strip, get a drink there, and um, we'll look at the pricing and then I'll talk about a little more when we're there. So yeah, let's get to going. So as you can see here, the prices I feel like have gone up just a little bit. Because as well, the portions as well you get for the pricing is a little bit, you know, a little small. But yeah, um, that's the, you know, Calypso menu. So yeah, so yeah um, honestly, today's been actually alright. Uh, chilling out a little bit at the bar. As you see, the bar's kind of changed with the pool, like the little pool right there. And all, yeah, it, it, it's, it's all changed. Change from the outside area looks a bit more polished because I think the guy who owns is pretty pretty rich. So yes, we can't change it. But yeah, we got a nice view of the sea. Obviously in the background right there, the light. There we go. And um, yeah, I got some stuff from the uh, shops, and I'm just gonna chill out with some food probably. And um, yeah. But yeah. So um, honestly. I'm gonna just probably call it at the end of the video today, or might just come back, go back and end the video. I'm not too sure, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching for now, and I will catch you in a bit. Then again, I'll see the portion size when I get a bit of food. So actually, yeah, that doesn't seem a good idea. All right, catch you in a minute. So as you can see here, I've got the chicken crunch wrap, where it's like a crunch chicken wrap, and uh, with a bit of bacon in, tomatoes, lettuce. Oh no, you got a little side. Pretty small dish, but I'll see what the pricing is after I've had the meal. Alright, love you guys. So there you have it, my meal. Chicken or crunch, crunchy chicken wrap, seven fifty, and then for a Coca Cola is three euros. Alright, uh, probably my last part of the vlog. So, been club so as you saw, the pricing I did say was a bit. I was a bit up there, I was a bit pricey. Three euros for a Coke, which you could probably go to like, if we go to where Lagoon is or something like that, it'd be like euro 50, something like that. But like I said, I'll have to show you a bit more of the prices. But yeah, Calypso has changed the pricing a little bit. So if you've got a bit of money for the, some one of our food, I'm sure you're right to go, but honestly, Honestly, like, I wouldn't. I still recommend it, but like it's just like I say, for the small amount of food you get, for that it, it, it's it's pushing it at best. Because like um, you know, if you're basically paying seven fifty for like just two, like you know, a wrap and a bit of salad, seven fifty for that. I've gone to, like I say, other shops. Like I've got large gyros for three euro, and I've gotten more value out of that than I have actually anything else. So yeah, honestly, I, I uh, clips of this, like I said, just a bit pricey. Because I'm guessing because, like I said, the pandemic, and because they're trying to make the money back. Maybe next year or two, it might um, turn down pricing. You never know. But yeah, look at that, great view. But yeah, besides from that, I don't know, I, I'd, I'd be careful. Like I said, we're, we're here to spend a bit of money, but like, I mean, if you're, if you're not getting value out of your meal, there's just no point paying for it, I guess. I don't know. I look at like, like the, the value of what you get on the meal, or like what you get from the food that's given to you. So like, if I got a massive burger, Load of chips and like maybe I don't know, something like that, right? I'd expect it to be maybe like five, six, ten euro, depending on the beef cut as well, and depending on the beef or whatever type of pork burger, you know, you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, like the type of cut you get from it, and then what type of meat they put into it, which is valuable as well. But like, besides from that. Like I said, I don't know, I, I just, I'm looking at the pricing now for food right now, and it's a bit, 
it's a bit iffy, I guess. But um, honestly, like, it, like they're trying to make the money back. I understand that, right? I understand they're trying to get the money back because I say the pandemic has not helped. They really struggled last year, and honestly, they want to keep an amber so people can get in. And honestly, yeah. So hopefully, you guys have enjoyed watching this uh, Call of Duty vlog. Um, I was like, I was supposed to record a little bit, like to come in here, but I will try and do Call of Duty Town when we do go there, and I will, I will try and do uh, going back so I can show you the airport and how that all that's like. So thank you guys. Oh, my arms are hurting. I've been in the pool, it's hurting, hurting like crazy. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, and if you do want me to make more Corfu vlogs in the week I have left, uh, just put it down in the comments. Paddy will let me let me answer them and anything like that. Looks like if you guys have any more questions, um, I will try and reply. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog. I guess I'm going to head back to the hotel now. And uh, yeah, so I've been Owen from Team Wrestling Nerd. And we'll catch you next time. Peace out, boys. Bye. Bye.